Yeah, I bought the Sony a6000 yesterday here in 2021. Even though I have a perfectly fine Sony a7 III sitting right there filming me, which is a better camera in almost every way, almost every way. I wanna dive into some questions. Is this still the perfect beginner camera? Can you make money off this bad boy? And why the hell did I buy it? Roll the intro. The Sony a6000 has been and still is a very popular camera and even though Sony discontinued this camera, it still gets sold in a lot of stores because they still have it on stock and even better, the aftermarket on this baby is highly attractive. See, I got this one for a little over a box on Facebook Marketplace, including the, including the kit lens. Now, what did I pay 100 bucks for? Let me tell you. See, the Sony a6000 comes in with a whopping 24.3 megapixel APS crop sensor, 11 frames per second, continuous shooting with subject tracking, and a nice three inch tilting LCD screen, and with a mini built-in flash and a hot shoe. The A6000 records full HD video with 1080p, 60 frames per second. And of course, there are a lot of cameras out there with way better specs, but the price on this one, especially for a beginner camera, is just very attractive. Okay, the price is a big plus, but what can it do? And I'm not talking about specs and all the sales talk, but how do we take photos? Well, how do the photos look? And how does it feel and everything? So I took this baby out for a spin yesterday, so you can see it for yourself. I took the Sony a6000 down to Christian's Hound here in Copenhagen, and one of the first things I noticed was the weight of the camera. With the kit lens, this camera only weighs 460 grams, which feels just so amazing walking around with such a lightweight setup. Now, for some testing, it wouldn't be fair for me to chuck on some expensive lenses on this camera. So I decided to start off with the kit lens. I used this kit lens for a couple of shots home before I took off and my first impressions weren't all that great, especially around the build quality and the feel. But once I took it out to the streets, I was really quick getting used to that and I'm actually really impressed about the performance of this little lens. As for the settings, I shoot everything in manual mode. I like to have full control over everything and I shoot in continuous shooting, especially when I'm on the streets and we have a lot of moving subjects. I like to have a couple of shots before and after so I have something to choose from. And with this camera shooting in 11 frames per second, there was no problem whatsoever. And here I wanted to show you the closest and the widest the lens can go. And this is a 16 and 50 side by side comparison, which is a very fun range for a lot of photography styles. But I just wouldn't recommend it for portrait photography. And even though you would think 50 mil is a nice focal length for portrait photography, and you're totally right, it's because of the f-stop. It doesn't go lower than 5.6 on the 50 mil, which means you need to put a lot of distance between your subject and your background if you wanna get that nice, tasty, blurry background, which you often want in portrait photography. And this is a prime example of what I'm talking about. Let's just wait for the model to walk past. And there you can see it. And that's why we're also testing the Sony 85 mil 1.8 on the A6000 which is by the way, one of my favorite lenses and especially for street photography. Mind you, this is a full frame lens. So on a crop sensor like the A6000 has, it's a vocal length equivalent of 127 and a half, which I really like for this kind of photography and also portrait photography. It's weird because I didn't think I would be this enthusiastic about this camera, but I am. Now, one thing to note is that when you put on this lens for the first couple of minutes, the camera is going to feel a little bit front heavy because it's a heavier lens on the camera, but you'll get used to that within a couple of minutes. Now I'm shooting everything manual mode. So let me put up some settings that I was using that night or the baseline might differ here and there a little bit, but this was basically what I used. Now the Sony 85 1.8 comes in a little over 500 bucks and is in my opinion a really good investment and really good lens to have. See, if you're gonna upgrade your camera in the future to a full frame camera, you can still use this lens and you can use it as an original 85 mil because it's a full frame lens. I use the Sony a6000 exactly like I would use my normal main camera, my Sony a7 III, and I also edit the photos like I normally would. So I hope you don't mind that, but all in all, I'm totally confident you can get some great shots using this camera. So yeah, even in 2021, this is still a perfect beginner camera, in my opinion. I had so much fun using this, and this is a good camera to learn all the basics of photography. And I also believe in that you can make your money back using this camera as a photographer. 
Yeah, if you can find some local business owners that can do photography themselves or, or do their social media pictures and you have put your hours in photography, you can make this camera back in no time. But I would like to point out that if you have the budget, I would highly recommend you getting a prime lens with a shallow depth of field so you can try and get those really crispy, nice shots. But if you don't, use the kit lens, put in your hours, because that's what it's all about. If you're gonna learn photography, you gotta put in those hours, you gotta take so many photos and get better by each click. So if you guys have any questions about this camera, please drop them down below. I would love to answer them. I would love to make more videos about this camera. Also, I'm thinking about doing a full POV video with this camera. Um, but let me know if you would like to see that. Maybe some of you are interested in the video capabilities and what you can do with it. I would love to make a video about that as well. Um, but for now, I'm very happy I got this steal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Show some love to the like button, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.